when it comes to Mortal Kombat, who is the one character you think of when it comes to this iconic franchise? The answer? Scorpion, of course. The Ninja Spectre, formerly known as Hanzo Asashi, was always the face when it came to thinking of Mortal Kombat. In Mortal Kombat 1, however, Scorpion's whole character is drastically changed compared to how he was in previous games. Instead of being the Fire Spectre driven to avenging his clan, he is now a member of the Lin Kuei and he is no longer Hanzo Asashi, but instead, the title Scorpion is taken by Kwai Liang, the second Sub-Zero. From having a rivalry built on vengeance to later building a friendship in MKX, this rivalry has now taken a really odd turn. Instead of having two Sub-Zeros for the first time, both brothers being present for the first time in the series without having any uh, resurrections being happened to them, we now have to have this rivalry between Kwai Liang and Bi Han as they struggle to lead the Lin Kuei in the right way. Before I go any deeper, allow me to quickly retell Scorpion's story before we go any further. As you probably know, Scorpion was a part of a clan known as the Shirai Ryu, and as such, he had a rivalry with the other clan, the Lin Kuei. Sadly, he would lose his clan as they were all slaughtered by what appeared to be Sub-Zero, but in all actuality, it was Quan Chi. Hanzo Asashi would die along with his wife Harumi and his son Satoshi. Quan Chi would then resurrect Hanzo Asashi, promising to allow him to get his revenge upon Sub-Zero. Hanzo is dead. Call me Scorpion. This is what would define Scorpion as a whole. A vengeful specter driven to avenging his clan and trying to bring him back by any means necessary. Now let's have a look at Kwai Liang as Scorpion in Mortal Kombat 1. Scorpion's story revolves around him trying to honor his father's legacy after his passing in an accident. He appears to be the voice of reason as Bihan seeks to be a much more rational when it comes to dealing with matters in the Lin Kuei, as he always wants to handle things more, much more aggressive than Scorpion does. I will say, he did get a great moment in Chapter 9 at the start of his chapter once he finds out about what happened to his father as he finds out that Sub-Zero was responsible. <laughs> Once you wrapped up the story and play through Scorpion and Smoke's Towers, you find out that both of them decide to form the Shirai Ryu, along with help from Harumi. But then it gets a bit odd once you play Smoke's ending. My attacker, it turns out, was a boy. Homeless and hungry. His assault was born of desperation. The boy's name? Hanzo Hasashi. You heard correctly. Hanzo Hasashi, the original Scorpion, is now a orphan child that is taken in by Kwai Liang, who is now Scorpion, who is also in love with Harumi. Not only does Kwai Liang get his title, his clan, but now he gets his girl. How? It's such a very odd way of rewriting Scorpion as a whole, as we've known him for the past 30 years, and now we have him as Kwai Liang, who's supposed to be Sub-Zero. The only thing I find that is story-wise that explains this is at the end of Chapter 3, with Liu Kang talking to Garrus, and he says he pretty much dissolved any type of enemy that would pose a threat to the realms. When you restarted history, you altered the destinies of certain malefactors to neutralize them. At least one of them is defying that destiny. I'd say the only reason Scorpion posed a threat to the realms was mainly for his actions that resulted with him creating new Saibot, which I'd say is like a small enemy that was created, but 
I'd say the bigger issue was with Shinnok when he was so driven by vengeance that he ignored everyone else, uh, killed Quan Chi, but it ended up in allowing Shinnok to be freed. I'd say that might be a reason. I find it odd that a lot of other MK characters are still living out normally without consequence. Zhao still remains as a higher position in Outworld as he's now a general. Targa got unleashed upon Outworld and now a lot of other people have been infected. You had Reptile be an outcast to his people. Worst of all, allowed Shang Tsung and Quan Chi to live, despite giving him Mina's lives. I know you had another way around that, Lu. Hanzo could have finally have gotten the peaceful ending that he always wanted where he is finally with his family and his clan with no threats uh, toward them. But sadly, he is stripped of his role as Scorpion and it is now given to Kwai Liang. There was a lot I enjoyed throughout Mortal Kombat 1's story, but Scorpion's story as a whole was probably a small weak point for me. While we had a lot of different story changes for characters in MK11, this feels a lot more drastic. It takes a character into a very odd situation that is very hard for old time fans like myself to just accept on the dime. And as I previously mentioned in my last video talking about Scorpion, the last time we actually see Hanzo Asashi in the story, was in chapter 10 where we see him die trying to protect his past self. He goes out by one of the most hated MK characters. While we get a resolve for Scorpion's anger, we really don't get a resolve to him finally reuniting with his family. It is resolved in, through, when you play through the invasions mode but it does it by utilizing the multiverse where you just travel to a universe with a harumi in it well i do appreciate the mode for giving us more unique ways to enjoy the game i don't like it trying to resolve stories through the use of the multiverse we just did it with mk11 with time travel being utilized to fix a lot of the issues from the previous games. Overall, this is where Hanzo's story is going to take a backseat for a while. Where I'm not entirely sure how they're going to handle the next story, seeing as how it's mainly, we're probably going to see a civil war between Kwai Liang and Bihan. We're, I'm curious on how exactly what they'll do with Hanzo as he's already a kid now so we probably will just probably see like bits of him if they do another story so let's see how that ends up. Let me know how you would have had Scorpion in this new era and what you'll truly miss about him now that we have Kwai Liang as Scorpion. If you haven't already be sure to also subscribe and drop a like and let me know what you thought about this video. I planned I kind of want to do more covering more of the MK characters because I, I had a a lot to say about a lot of the other characters in this game and want to do one for each character. Thank y'all for watching and I shall see y'all soon.